and welcome to a new adventure. So we're down here today in the centre of Leeds at the Holbeck Viaduct. And I'm joined by a special guest today. We've got Ashley with us. Hey, hi, hi. Ashley. <laughs> so I've received a few tip-offs and a few messages to tell me that the Holbeck Viaduct, which runs right through Leeds, which is an old abandoned railway viaduct, was open and accessible. Now it's something I've wanted to do for many years and I've never had the guts to go check it out. But when they told me it was accessible, and as you can see right there, that gate is open. I thought, you know what? I'm gonna get somebody that knows a bit about it and we're gonna come down and we're gonna look at it. Now Ashley, he's a, a massive expert on railways and he knows everything there is to know about this viaduct. He's, he's uh, shaking now I said that. I'm joking, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I should have seen his face then, that were hilarious. So we've come down anyway just to have a look. I thought, you know what, let's just go down. We'll walk right along the viaduct as far as we can and we'll show you what remains on here because we're told that there's some track remaining and a few other pieces as well. It's going to be a great explore. So we're going to start from here, which is just outside. or well, we're just off Gelded Road, not far from Gelded Road. And we're going to make our way right down into Leeds city centre. And I'll just turn you around and show you that way. So the Leeds Centre is directly ahead of us. Now this viaduct apparently has 92 arches all the way into the centre. It's just over a mile long and it was built in the 1880s. Now it finally closed to traffic in the 60s but they did still use it. It was mainly built for the Leeds to Huddersfield line which used to use it as its main uh, route into Leeds. And then when it closed in the 60s they used to use it as a, an alternative route into Leeds Station and it used to be the London line or the Wakefield to Leeds line that used it as a like a bypass into Leeds Station. It's still connected to the tracks further down. So it was used right up until 1988 but since then it's been left. Okay so let me take you to the maps. So the line running through the middle there is the main Leeds to Wakefield and London line there. And then you've got Gelded Road just on the right running up there. So the Holbeck Viaduct starts roughly around here. The old line would have branched off here and headed across Gelded Road all the way on this embankment here, right the way through until it meets the actual viaduct, which you can see there. So this is an embankment on the left that it would have turned into a viaduct. Now this is where the gate was here. Then all the way into Leeds, on the viaduct as you can see you can see all the 92 arches on there as well and then it curves its way over the other Wakefield line which goes off to Castleford as well bends around here and then joins the main route into Leeds station which is just there at the back so like I said this was used as a cut through so if you can imagine the drain line coming down here and then it joins the main line in the distance there and then into Leeds. They could have also used this route here through to Leeds station as a separate route through to the station. Like I said, that stopped in the 80s and since then the whole viaduct has been left abandoned. So we've started around here and then we've made our way down to the gates at the start of the viaduct just here. So I'm going to head back down on foot now and show you the viaduct. Okay, so let's walk down and I'm going to take you for a, a nice cool walk down the viaduct to see what we can find. Right, so right where we are now, we've just stumbled across some track, our first sighting of some track which is still down on the floor, as you can see there. And I'm told there is plenty more further up, including both sides. Got a sleeper. Nice big sleeper there. Not an old Victorian one like we normally find. That's probably 50s. We're gonna head further down anyway into the uh, undergrowth, as you can see down there.
So we're, we're about halfway down the viaduct now, I think, I hope anyway. It's a bloody long way. And we've just come across uh, a bridge here. I'm not sure where this bridge goes. Let's have a look what it goes over. Oh, it goes over where the domestic road, I think this is. I don't know if you can see that. And uh, they've still got the uh, base down for the track here. So you've got the track on this side and it's been taken up that side. So this was obviously, when they used it as an overspill in the 80s, they obviously already removed this track here and have just kept the right hand side. So obviously it weren't very busy. So they probably used it occasionally in peak times. Yeah, we're getting close to Lee Centre now, which is not far. So we're going to keep heading just down there and we'll get back to you when we find something a bit more interesting. Same again, we've got the track dis missing from this side and the track intact on that side. I think there's been a lot of cable thieves up here as well. Some of the signal cable's been removed, but let's have a look over the bridge while we're here. So as you can see, we're heading that way into Leeds Centre. And you can just see the viaduct in the distance, straight ahead. We've got a long way to go yet. Probably not even halfway. You can see the main lines into Leeds that way. Leeds Station is directly over where that round building is, the tall brown round building there. But anyway, let's keep pressing on. We're just going to keep walking until we find anything interesting. And you can see the viaduct curves left here, heads that way, and it joins the main line just down there in the distance. So we're going to probably head as far as the middle bit over there and see what's left on there. As you can see, a nice panoramic shot of Leeds there, and the uh, London train coming in. Okay, so I think we've reached as far as we can go down the viaduct. We've headed right into the centre of Lee, as you can see there. And you've got your main line just down there, and also your main leads to London line. This is the Wakefield line here. But I think if we go any further, we're going to start getting close, too close to the main lines and the tracks. But you can see the viaduct just carries on, probably another 10 or 15 arches that way and then it joins the main line over there so like I said this was used as a bypass back in the 80s and before that 
a bypass into Leeds station instead of coming down the main line here to my left it would have used this one as a as a nice um, overflow shall we say so we're gonna head back up there now all the way probably a mile back we've come I just wanted to mention while we're here they're actually talking about turning this whole viaduct here into a greenway of some sort so what they're talking about is all the way from the center of Leeds making it accessible down there all the way out as far up there I'm not sure how far but quite a fair way up there and they're going to plant trees on it I mean I don't, need to, I don't think they need to plant trees on it have you seen it <laughs> it's so overgrown but they're going to plant trees on it landscaping nice cycle paths and things on there to make it like a parkway a raised an elevated parkway like in New York like in New York yeah, yeah. so that's the plan anyway and that's the the green party I think are doing that well, they're trying to do it and as far as I know they've already bought the rights to the viaduct and they're looking at doing that and starting to clear it and uh, put some good things in to make it accessible for people so maybe we're seeing it now before it changes into that and this has been totally blocked off for many years like I was saying before but I just thought I'd take you along and show you what's here and you know we'll go explore it and I'll show you guys what I'm seeing Okay, so we're going to head right back to where we started now but what I'll do is I'll speed this bit up because I don't want to bore you with the journey back so if you want to watch us going back I'm going to speed it up right now so you can see that so we've just found an old uh, telephone there it's a call, uh, call base <laughs> now the depot is just behind there the uh, train depot it's a Northern Rail. A Northern Rail train depot. Holbeck depot, yeah. Holbeck depot, he says. I didn't know that. Also, a uh, network rail use it as well. Okay, so you might have just seen on the video there, we've finally exited the uh, ride up there. You can see again the gates open. I don't know how long that's going to last. I've got a funny feeling that's going to be closed very soon with a big fat padlock on it. But yeah, we, we got told that it was open, so we headed down here. And Ashley told me uh, how to get in. <laughs> so, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Oh, I did. He, he did, he did. <laughs> that sort of thing I told Yeah, this is the viaduct now, just leading up to... Well, I've got to say, this is the viaduct, this is the embankment. <laughs> this is the embankment leading up to the viaduct behind us. So, from here, it headed off straight ahead and then it curves to the left, towards Gelded Road. It follows Gelded Road at the back. It joined the Wakefield Westgate line, just up there. And like I said, they used to use it as a cut-through to Leeds Station, instead of going that way into Leeds. It used to come this way when it was busy. But no longer. 
But yeah, it's a shame it's not used anymore, but you know, if they don't need it, then they won't use it. But like I said, they are talking about turning it into a nice big park. Like a, a high level park, I forgot what they call them now. Elevated park, that's it. And that will be from here all the way down into Leeds. And we're gonna put nice staircases here with a cafe and things like that. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, random explore across the viaduct. Like I said, it wasn't on my list, it was just a tip off that I got. And I thought, with it being quite nice weather and a nice evening, we're just gonna go out and do it. So we, you know, just wanted to show you guys so you can see it and it's recorded forever now so if they do do something with this we've got evidence that it was there but a big thank you to Ashley for showing us and bringing us down like I said I'm not familiar with this part of Leeds but well a little bit but not as much as Ashley is so a big thank you to Ashley for showing us um, yeah and I hope you enjoyed that little video please like the video comment down below subscribe to the channel and i'm going to leave you with a bit more of this embankment going that way so i'll see you in the next video bye